It's the most wonderful time of the year with the Steam Winter Sale, where games usually see some of their heaviest discounts, and where you'll get some serious bang for your buck. Today we'll look at 12 strategy, simulation, and city builder games that you can get on the heckin' cheap for $10 or less and just in time to spend that Christmas money. Let's dive in. Starting the first half of our games conveniently in space, beginning with Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Currently at 77% off the base game for just under $7, Mechanicus is always going to be a top tier choice that I recommend for any strategy gamer, whether you're an expert in the lore of the Warhammer 40k universe, or like Jon Snow, you know nothing. This turn-based tactics and management game brings two factions that you don't see represented too often across the universe. First are the Adeptus Mechanicus, a machine-worshipping people who are so fanatical that they sacrificed most of their humanity for the benefits that machines can offer, and the Necrons, the culmination of an ancient empire immortalized in these completely robotic beings. There's a lot going on with Mechanicus, but in no way is that a negative statement. First is the team management, where you'll take charge of fellow Adeptus Mechanicus humans, specializing them, managing their disciplines, and ensuring that they survive the brutal campaign as you progress. Then there's the dungeon crawling side of things as you, well, crawl through the ancient tombs of the Necrons, coming across bits of lore, events that need solving, and uncovering the secrets therein. The kicker is that the longer you stay in these tombs, the more difficult the battles become, forcing you to balance a need to discover versus a need to keep your squad alive in ever increasingly intense battles. Which leads to the last and my favorite part of the game, turn-based battles. Battles in Mechanicus are far less about luck and more about positioning your own men perfectly to set up ambushes or tackle the enemy, while keeping your own men out of harm's way. There are no hit chances, like in other tactics games, which makes positioning and skill management all the more important. Plus, you get to not only see the prowess of what the Adeptus Mechanicus can do, but the Necrons pull out some seriously cool units as well. If you're looking for a game to explore the Warhammer 40k universe with, this will give you a solid slice of lesser-known factions, which is always great. Or if you're just down for an engaging turn-based tactics game, this one's for you. You want to upgrade beyond the base game? The Complete Edition is just $15, giving you access to the Omnisci Edition and the DLC. Taking to space in a very different way is Star Wars Empire at War Gold Pack at 65% off for just $7. This one is an oldie but a true goldie, released on Steam back in 2006 and still stands the test of time thanks to Petroglyph support even after 17 years. Taking the Star Wars universe into the real-time strategy genre, it's up to you to steer your side to ultimate victory, be it for good or for evil. You'll take command of entire planets, choosing what to build and specialize in, construct armies and fleets of starships to expand your empire, balancing your credit economy in the process. Moving your militaries into contested zones can trigger land or space battles, managing your troops and ship special abilities to gain the upper hand. I have to say, while the land battles are often not super terribly exciting in my opinion, the real action for me lies in space battles. Seeing some of the most iconic ships in Star Wars lore duking it out with you at the helm is pretty dang fun. And combined with characters like Han Solo piloting the Millennium Falcon or finally taking charge of the Death Star yourself, few games have the appeal of space battles like Empire at War. The biggest reason this game is in the video though is that the devs recently upgraded both games in the gold pack to support 64-bit applications, solving a host of issues that many players simply just had to deal with due to the age of the game. It's now much more stable and provides a smoother experience overall. If you're all right with some seriously old school vibes, but wanna play a great Star Wars strategy game, this is it. Next up, Homeworld Remastered Collection, currently at 90% off for a mere $3.50. If you're old like me, or simply just quite excited for Homeworld 3 and can't wait until next year, then the Homeworld Remastered Collection is for you. Containing both Homeworld 1 and 2 Remastered, as well as their jankier classic versions, this is the space strategy game that ensnared so many kids of my generation and the generation before me. You know, us old guys. Homeworld sees you at the head of cushioned exiles from planet Carrick, fleeing from the Taedan Empire in a massive mothership, where you'll gather resources, build your fleets, and journey across the galaxy to reclaim your ancient homeworld. The big kicker here is that your battles are played out in 3D space rather than 2D space. A big deal back in the day. This series is one that jump-started my passion for strategy games, and while the remastered version is still a bit dated, it is very functional and will get you semi-prepped to experience Homeworld 3, which is still hopefully coming in March of 2024. For less than $4, this is a steal, 
But if you also want to purchase the latest game in the series, Deserts of Carrick, which is a prequel by the way, you can purchase the bundle for less than $9 total, still a 90% discount overall. We're not done with space yet with Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Right now it's 75% off for just $5. For me, it's always an easy sell when you combine the beloved Halo franchise with real-time strategy. That's exactly what the Halo Wars Definitive Edition is. Halo, but as a strategy game. The original released way back in 2006 with the story set 21 years before the events of Halo Combat Evolved, where the captain of the Spirit of Fire investigates covenant activity on the ruined planet of Reach. It's during this investigation that they discover something much more sinister is taking place, and it's up to the singular vessel and its crew within to fight with everything they have. Halo Wars features a co-op campaign mode with a rock, paper, scissors style of gameplay, and all of the iconic Halo franchise vehicles and units, from warthogs and spartans to elites, suicidal grenade-wielding grunts, and even scarabs. You'll balance your resource extraction with technological upgrades and unit production, with the capture and expansion of bases throughout the map being a crucial aspect of winning. The campaign is quite robust and offers a very engaging and fun experience as you learn to adapt to the scenarios presented to you. And quite honestly, the graphics are pretty dang impressive considering that this was developed 17 years ago. Oh yeah, and did I mention that this is the same dev as Age of Empires? Probably should have earlier. Halo Wars still holds up today without a doubt, and for $5, it's a great game to nab over the holidays. In our final space game of the video, I present to you Endless Space 2. That's 75% off for 10 bucks. As a huge fan of Amplitude games overall, it's no real surprise that Endless 2 makes the cut. Set in the Endless universe, this turn-based 4x strategy game will see you lead your civilization from a meager seagull planet and explore a galaxy full of unknown entities, events, and planet types for you to expand your empire into. Endless Space 2 hits all the spots for your 4x experience. You'll need to explore the galaxy to find solar systems worth inhabiting based on the traits and research capability of your empires, where you'll then expand into, allowing your population to grow and further boosting your people. Once inhabited, you'll exploit said planets, specializing them based on their planet types, utilizing research to make integration a smoother process, and therefore compounding the effects your empire has around the galaxy. You're not alone in this game either. And thus, you'll find other spacefaring factions that ultimately want the same thing as you do, domination. It's up to you to determine if you can peacefully coexist or use your array of ships and ground troop compositions to exterminate anyone that stands in your path. Your options are quite fair to say endless, and this allows for a lot of replayability. Endless Space 2 features hero types, much like its predecessor, Endless Legend, and along with that comes the ability to customize your ships and hero units catering them to your own playstyle, regardless of the faction. If you're down to play an older game that could satiate your 4X needs this holiday season, Endless Space 2 is your jam. Now for a more grounded approach, and it only seems fitting to start with Endless Legend. Currently it's 75% off at $7.50. Released three years before Endless Space 2 in 2014, Endless Legend was a solid turn in this turn-based strategy genre. A genre where the standard formula from the Civilization series meant that anything different would really stand out. Endless Legend is set in the fantasy world of Ariga, long after the events of its predecessor Dungeons of the Endless, where the ancestors of the survivors in that game populated the planet, having forgotten their origin story. With harsh winter seasons becoming longer and longer, it becomes more evidence that Ariga is a dying planet, and thus you must progress your faction in order to ensure its survival. There are a handful of major differences that make Endless Legend stand out in the genre, at least when it was released, seasons being one of the bigger ones, and as the seasons change, so does food supplies, or the ability to expand, things of that nature. You also have dedicated biomes full of unique resources that you can exploit to use for specialty purposes, such as upgrading your armies and heroes. There's also regions, where only one faction can populate it at one time, making expansion far less like Civilization and more like Amplitude's future game, Humankind. Battles were the significant game changer and still remain so in my opinion, where multiple units comprise armies, and when those armies meet, an expanded battlefield opens up to fight in, where terrain height modifiers come into play and heroes can change the tide of battles. There's a lot going on in Endless Legend, but it offers a great storyline, lots of different features from the standard turn-based civilization builders, and really provides a great experience overall. Now, speaking of long winters, there's no way I'm not mentioning Frostpunk. 
with a base game at 80% off for just $6. Easily one of my most favorite strategy games of all time, Frostpunk is a society survival game set in an alternate steampunk timeline, where the world has quite literally frozen over and you are the leader of the last city on Earth. The only thing standing between this city and the end of humanity is a revolutionary piece of tech, a massive coal burning generator hidden away in a giant hole in the ground. Well, that and the human condition itself. Being a society-based survival city builder, your people will come to you with incredibly and oftentimes depressing choices that you have to decide on. Do you let your children work, knowing that some could die in a dangerous environment? What should you do with injured people? Do they deserve to soak up precious food while not contributing to overall production? Are we all that is truly left in this frozen world? Your choices will have effects on the two major mechanics of hope and discontent. Too much discontent, the people will rebel, and the weather is only going to get colder and colder. You'll need to enact laws to curb the people's discontent or raise their hope, stockpile resources to take on the cold, send out explorers to find out what else is out there. But most importantly, it's simple survival at whatever cost. Frostpunk is an incredibly intriguing game that also presents some of the most challenging gameplay I've ever experienced with strategy titles, so it will always be an easy buy option, especially at six bucks, and it's a great way to occupy your gaming time as we wait for the release date on Frostpunk 2. Yes, there is a sequel, and I am incredibly excited about it. On top of that, if you already own the base game, you can purchase the Season Pass containing all DLCs for just a little over $8, or if you want to buy it all at once for 12 bucks. So many choices, but you have some time to make the decision. Taking settlement building into a much less intense setting is Nessess at 50% off for just five bucks. Nessess combines aspects of Minecraft, Terraria, even a dash of RimWorld to provide an incredibly fun, top-down, open-world survival crafting game. In this game, you'll start with one meager building to establish your settlement, crafting items, magical gear, and more buildings that will bring in outside NPCs that you can then bring into your settlement permanently to start automating tasks or even join you as you travel around the world. You'll explore deep dungeons to mine ores that allow you to craft better armor or even find abandoned rooms full of great loot. With several biomes in the game, each containing their own unique monsters, ores, loots, and bosses, dungeon crawling becomes a very fun part as you risk delving too greedily or too deep for ever greater payoffs. As your settlement grows, you'll have to cater to the villagers inside of it, making sure they are satisfied with how things are going, providing rooms with ample space, full of fine furniture, lots of amazing food, among other needs. In return, you can prioritize their tasks, set up systems to have villagers auto-sort through materials, or set recipe limits that they'll automatically make. You can trade with them, and as mentioned earlier, even take them dungeon crawling with you as a means to tank a boss or provide some armored protection in your more dangerous areas. Oh yeah, one of the bigger aspects of the game, multiplayer. With a confirmed test of 50 people on a server and an unconfirmed test of far larger, Necess is the perfect game for you and your friends to play together on. And with the latest update, you can even bring your own character across different servers, making sure all of your hard work with a single character isn't lost when you wanna join in some multiplayer fun. At $5, it's an incredibly easy buy, and if you have some friends to play along with, why not send them a belated Christmas gift? Our last games are a few classics in the strategy genre, starting with Stronghold Crusader HD, 65% off at $3.50. Stronghold Crusader released over 20 years ago when I was a wee lad of 13, and yet it still holds up unbelievably well, especially with the HD edition. Taking the strategy franchise over to the Holy Land, you'll relive the historic crusades as both Lionheart and Saladin across multiple historical campaigns, building up your economy through food production, basic industry, weapons and armor crafting, ale and religion to sustain larger populations and draft an elite force of soldiers, laying siege to enemy castles with rams, catapults, and trebuchets. Or you can test your economic and military skills in a 100 mission skirmish campaign that pits you in various scenarios against a range of the enemy AI characters, which is my personal favorite, to be honest. I've spent far too many hours playing Stronghold Crusader back when you had to have a CD to play it, and many fond memories throwing several hundred Arabic horse archers against my opponent's Mongol style in order to take them down. If you're looking for a fun, medieval-era real-time strategy game that is easy to understand and on the cheap, Deus Volt, my friend. Taking to a latter era, I'm dropping two games at the same time, 
Total War Empire and Total War Napoleon Definitive Editions, both at 75% off for just over six bucks each. In a time when the Total War name was in front and its name itself not quite so tarnished, both Empire and Napoleon took the franchise into the age of gunpowder in spectacular ways that we didn't know were possible. In Total War Empire, you'll take the lead as one of several nations of the time period, expanding your empire through multiple theaters of war, constructing its then new concept of buildings outside of cities, conducting research and espionage through new agent types, engaging in diplomacy to secure alliances or peace terms, and of course, wage real-time strategy war with some epic massive battles full of light infantry, cavalry, and artillery pieces. In Napoleon, you can take on all of Napoleon's campaigns through Italy, Egypt, and Europe, or fight against him and his armies to alter the course of history as you see fit. Both of these definitive editions include all DLC for their respective games, unlocking new campaigns, new units, and historical battles. While there still are some unresolved bugs and a small handful of performance issues, both Total War games can suffer from issues of its time, but in my opinion, they are easy to deal with. And there are a handful of very solid overhaul mods, such as Darth Mod, that could take the game to places that Creative Assembly never dared. If you're into gunpowder and you've not taken advantage of a good Total War sale, now is the best opportunity to do so. In wrapping up this video, I can't help but throw in one more game, and yes, it's another Total War title, but probably one of the best in the entire franchise. Yes, I'm talking about Total War Shogun 2, for 75% off the base game, putting it at $7.50. Shogun 2 released after both Empire and Napoleon, bringing the franchise into 16th century feudal Japan during one of its more tumultuous time periods, as 10 rival warlords all try to become the next Shogun. Featuring all of the hallmark mechanics of Empire and Napoleon, along with some new ones, Shogun 2 captured so many of my generation of Total War players, as it explored what the transition from a feudal militaristic society, saturated with honor and glory, looked like as it discovers the age of gunpowder and the presence of European nations looking to exploit the setting. Considered one of the most well-designed and well-executed Total War games, it's easy to see why it has nearly the same number of reviews as its two predecessors combined. It's also therefore easy to see why Creative Assembly haven't made a definitive edition that combines all the DLC into the base game. However, you can purchase all seven DLC, including the prequel Rise of the Samurai campaign for just under $12 total. And $20 for all of that ain't a bad deal at all. And with that final game, the end of this video. There's still plenty of time to take advantage of all of these deals, so be sure to let me know which ones you'll be after this holiday season, as well as any you think I missed in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. A huge shout out to our members as they go a long way in showing their support it's greatly appreciated, but as always, never, ever expected. Thank you so much for watching. This is Havoc, and I am out of here.